Uh, yeah. So that was good, chum, man. Let's get back into the game. But this time I got Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc Episode 2, man. That motherfucking title is a uh, mouthful. Hopefully, I ain't fuck it up. Anyway, y'all seem to be enjoying it, bro. So I'm not finna make y'all wait for Episode 2. You know what I'm saying? We just finna hop right into it. But I will tell you, it's so motherfucking hot in this room. Mm. You know, like... I don't like when I'm trying to drink my water. I tip that cup over and the ice cube kiss my shit. Why is you why is you smooching me? Yeah. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like why is it doing that? Mmm. Mmm. Why is ice are you sticking your tongue down my throat, bro? I almost just sucked the ice down my throat. Alright bro, niggas trying to get me up out of there. Somebody said pause. Why are you saying pause is ice? You must kill someone if you wanna leave. My mind frozen, my breath caught in my uh in my throat as I thought about that. I can feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. Uh, this music got now. Well, that's loud as shit! Took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive. Daily life. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. Um, let me think. Who 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 in this who in this group is sharp? Probably Kirigiri or Celeste. Those two are the sharp niggas. And? Yep. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Up, oh, blick and blow. <laughs> Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. Help pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes! Even if you're nervous or afraid! You just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Nah, that's different. Nah, 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 nah. See, I was on board at first, but you seem to take enjoyment in punishment, sir. I will not be the one to deliver that. Jesus. If you have to yell, uh, mm, 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 mm. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you got time to do something about it. However, perhaps. But what is this mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. What the? We totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the fuck out of him. But, 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 but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. Chihiro, they, man, some niggas in my comments told me what you got going on. I don't give a damn what's between your legs, but my character does. That's why he was trying to bitch you. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright. Fine. So then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. I'm not gonna remember any of these voices I give niggas. That shit gonna be per per uh per passage. To turn it on my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. And from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school. Uh, shit, I'm fucking it up. I think it's this beat in my ear. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was school regulations. School students may reside only within the school, leaving camp. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Yeah, I've seen that one. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Uh. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. It's hot as fuck in this bitch. Violence against the headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Uh... So did that mean a nigga like me is already out this bitch? <laughs> Somebody said, nigga, you, you, um, you don't get to claim that shit because you on the lighter end. See, why are you colorist against me? You think because I'm lighter that I'm not black for real. Get the fuck back, watch your mouth when you talk to me. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up for, uh, up for my screen. I'm fucking up. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the fuck kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? You're probably gonna get turned into a C4 again. 
personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Uh, Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it. Even if it kills him. And... You look fucking ridiculous. Why are you on my screen with that scary-ass facial expression? Like, why, why you got your mouth open so wide? You overdoing it? You're fake. I don't like you. What? Somebody said, what about Leon? That applies to him too. He's fake. I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes a hood nigga will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all this silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True! We need to find out where exactly we are! Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Let's do it! Damn straight! Alright, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. Yeah, you fucking do that, prissy bitch. What? You, you 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 look like you walk on your pinky toe if that's even possible. You just look that you just look that prissy. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should sit around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on. That would never. What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation world was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Krabs? Nah, what? Hey, I don't like this bitch, but he talking his shit right now. He he popping he, he 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 talking his shit right now. The fuck I want niggas around me for y'all ass trying to you know what I'm saying? Hell no, I don't want you niggas with me. I'm low key with him on that one. What? The fuck that's supposed to mean? He calls your ass a a, a a bottom feeder. You can't even chew. You just you get your shit through radioactivity. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm about to beat your shit in, bitch. Stop! We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch. You wanna throw down? <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck you think you talking to like that? You think you my fucking dad or something? Nah, I want. You son of a fuck bitch. you. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It's like something straight out of a comic book. I bet you watch your fucking mouth now, Makat bitch. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten what kind of people I'd been trapped in here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was breasts. Oh no, he in the room. I bet. You know, y'all know how y'all you you know how they be making the women healers in these games. I thought he was gonna be laying on somebody lap, and that bitch was just gonna be rubbing his a whole gay or whatever you call that boomerang shit on his head. Y'all know how that go. Somebody said, bro, you really be sounding misogynistic. Am I wrong, though? Watch literally any anime. Any, watch any anime. Tell me when niggas don't get knocked out, they don't wake up laying on a bitch lap with some titties in his face. T 
titty so big he can't even see the sun. It's a solar eclipse. Nipples blocking this shit, everything. Why are your nipples blocking the sun? Matter of fact, let me get up. Get off me. You know what I'm saying? Tell me I'm lying. Huh? Wh where am I? And this my thing. This my thing, Makoto. Especially now that you've been punched, you have every reason to put that nigga up out his misery. You know what I'm saying? You got every reason to put Mondo down. Don't let him ever do that again. You need to do something to his ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if I don't give a fuck if he's 6'5, 300 pounds, bitch. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I got something that's 45 pounds. What? That didn't even make no sense. I'm about to shut up. As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? That bed looks like fucking... Pain and suffering. That shit look like... Paper cut on wheels. What is... That bed looks like it hurt. Oh, no, this shit look like origami. You don't have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. I'm never gonna remember that. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. I don't even know what that means. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. F2? Uh transcript why that bitch move slow as shit though look how slow it scrolls oh, okay never mind oh it don't move that slow i could i could hit the arrow key to uh to make that bitch go quicker for sure that f1 uh fuck is a truth bullet review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of review a person belongs as you have on you okay i don't give a fuck i don't know if you caught on i don't be giving a fuck i guess we some uh clean up after ourselves more titanium there's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is it to keep us all trapped in here? What is that though? What is that blue shit? It's a notepad. Guess the school must have given us uh given us one each, my fault. This must be the key to the room. My name written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. Boy, I thought that shadow was a a fucking I don't know. A bitch dressed up as a crazy ass vulture or something. I wanted to say flamingo, but that shit didn't, that shit wasn't gonna hit right. Flamingo, fuck no. What else in my room before I get up out of here? Man, not shit. Somebody said make sure you explore everything. My fault. A whole bunch of niggas is telling me that I'm cooked because I put my difficulty on me. Y'all must have forgot who I was. Y'all must have forgot I'm JP. Make a bitch say hey you about you know what I'm saying? Y'all must have forgot who I was. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle rattle. Huh? It's not opening. Guess it's locked. I ain't never heard of an indoor locked bathroom. Why can I not use the ba Why can I not use my own bathroom? Why are you dictating when my bowels move? When I put a turd on this floor, you better not say shit to me. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? You can't unlock your own room? For now, I should look around the room. What else do you want to see? Kind of monitor. Ugh. What is that? It's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, Announcer from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Sorry. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, um, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Huh? So I'm in a girl's room? Finally we, fi 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 finally, we prepared a small gift for each one of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. Sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools. So this is this is reminiscent of what the government do to niggas in the hood. How you think niggas is getting Dracos in the hood? I'm not even going to say too much about that. Motherfuckers supplying us with the weapons that we use to kill each other. Oh, nah. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. And then that's exactly how they... Alright, bro. Somebody said get off get off their dick. You get off my dick. Why you... Alright, bro. I'm not finna argue with you. Crumpled up the sheet and threw it in the trash. Nigga, rage. Ah! He said, hmm, nah! Okay, well. Can I leave now? For now, I should look around the room. Bro, open the fucking door. Surveillance camera. That mean I can't beat my fucking balls. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. What else could I possibly need to do? It doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed, except that it's, uh, sharp. It has sharp edges. The mattress included. 
I ain't never seen a sharp edge mattress. Can I leave now? What else do you want from me? Some kind of metal plate. Surveillance camera bed, lint roller, trash. It's an everyday trash can. I don't see it in Jenny coming in. I don't send trash the paper I wadded up and threw away. Man, whatever it is, it's probably obvious as shit. Somebody said this is exactly why I said you cooked. <laughs> Because why am I not able to get about this fucking room? What am I supposed to be doing in here, man? Am I supposed to be using tools? Hell no. Nah, I'm not even about to scroll through that. 114? I'm 5'3". And I'm an inch taller than you, bitch. Haha. <laughs> um, ultimate lucky, unlucky student. Okay, so they federal. They tell you what you are on here. Kiyotaka. Oh, he only... Oh, yeah, I could definitely whoop his ass. I could definitely... I could definitely knock his shit in. Pause, but yeah. Yeah, you ain't nobody, nigga. Six foot one, I could still reach your chin. I'm still jumping. If I got an uppercut, bitch, I will. I'm putting you down. Six two, 168. Let me think. Six two. That's only an inch taller than Biakia. I'm still putting your shit down. As a short man, you gotta... As a short man, every short man knows when a taller person gets around you, you gotta size them up. Even if you don't plan on fighting them, you gotta size them up just in case they play with you. And you gotta do it sneaky though, because if you do it real obvious, they're gonna be like, oh my god, there go that little man syndrome. But that's the thing though. That's the thing. I feel vulnerable in my short man state. I can't let no 6'5 nigga get around me thinking he's gonna bitch me. I gotta let him know. I gotta stand up to him like this. Even, even though in reality, and even though in reality, it's gonna be more like this, I'm gonna still stand up like it's this. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm not finna play with you. Get from around me. Somebody said I'm 6'5. I ain't never thought twice about you little bitches. Well, that's good. Thank you for making me comfortable. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I need out of you. That's that's exactly what I need. I need to feel comfortable around you, bro. I should I shouldn't feel like I have to fight you. You know, funny enough, funny enough, funny enough. Most tall, most of them, most tall people be cool with me, so I don't have to deal with short man syndrome often. But them few times that them tall niggas be tweaking on me, I be I, I be having to think like, I know my arms long, but can I actually reach? I'm probably just gonna hit him in the throat. And that's not gonna put him to sleep. It might make him <coughs> a little bit, but he's not gonna stop swinging. I need a, I need a one hitter quitter. And so then I'll be thinking, what I'm gonna do? I gotta duck under that bitch and I gotta duck under that bitch and yep, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be like Mike Tyson. It's hard being a short nigga, but at the same time, it's not. Motherfucker gonna always underestimate your abilities. <laughs> Somebody say you sound like an anime character. You're right, bro. <sighs> now this now this motherfucker right here nah nah now this motherfucker right here sakura i will not play with you bro but if you play with me i'm gonna have to let you know that i'm not a bitch why you whipping my ass though you know what i'm saying so why you why you punching me why you punching my face in i'm still gonna be swinging too even though i won't be doing no damage that shit gonna be like them little one hit markers and you gonna be landing criticals on my shit i'm still swinging i'm letting you know i'm not going out like no bitch I'm letting you know that right now. So if you play with me, I'm fucking you up. But not really. It's just a mentality thing. It's when I'm on my deathbed, I know I didn't go out like no bitch. You hear me? You hear me? And they do not put no genders on her. Genders are set. Yo, I be try Yo, I'm still trying to educate myself on how to refer. I don't want to piss nobody off, bro. All I know is y'all basically snitched on Shahira. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with folks, but <laughs> they, they 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 trying to let that shit be uh 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 yup. They trying to let that shit be uh, mysterious. Sorry if, if this is the way you find out that Chihiro is not who, who they say they are. Well, that's not fair either. Can I fucking leave now? I have no idea what else I'm supposed to do in here. Go to sleep. What do you fucking want from me? Mm, I can't turn the music down now. Okay. Why is the voice volume on max and the music is that loud? Goodness gracious. Hold on. Reset my settings so I can see what that thing look like. Yeah, one notch down should be fine. You telling me? You telling me the voice been on maximum this whole time? Did they say what? Uh, did they say what Kirigiri was? I forget I could do that. Did they say what Kirigiri was, bro? Nah, they didn't. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I didn't click already. Oh wow, are you serious? Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the sh Okay. I don't really need it right now, so I just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory. We'll be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone wants to carry here. I have to follow... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that answers the question. Next question is... 
What is everyone else up to right now? And there's only one way to find out, and that's to get the fuck up out of here. Run and leave. Yes, finally. I got tired of being sicked up in my fucking room all day. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I rushed out the room to meet up with all the others. There was someone waiting for me there. It's like some out of an old TV show. Who is it, Sayaka? Damn! Ah! Definitely Sayaka. Yep, knew him. You oh. big head, bitch. Sorry. Sayaka? Sorry, that was mean. Sorry. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face, so I stood, I stood, I stood, I stood slowly. You okay, Sayaka? You hurt? <laughs> huh, you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I'm actually, uh, I need to build some good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. <sighs> but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everybody. Guess I feel my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto? Oh, uh. I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was kind of worried. Uh. Yeah, thanks. By the way, what you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, let's Well, see. if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we found out. So that does mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall. Honestly, I... You know what? Honestly, I... And this is just because... didn't I need to know who carried me back. If none of these niggas carried me back, I ain't worried about no dining hall. I don't fuck with none of y'all ass. Quit trying to act like we cool when nobody when nobody fucking with me. But Makoto, that's what you get for being unnecessarily mean to people. But still, in real life, I'm not fucking with none of y'all. I'm killing a nigga and won't nobody know I did it. I'ma act so motherfucking cool when I pop one of y'all stupid ass. Oh, wait, pause, cause that's for pregnancy. When I kill one of you niggas, ain't nobody gonna know I did it, cause I was acting so cool. I'm like Celeste with the shit. <laughs> This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now, though. With us being prisoners here and all. Uh, yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Dude, why wouldn't she have just said that even without you saying that? What are you talking about? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, nigga. <laughs> That, all right. Is it really just intuition? My nigga, you might be goofy. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, why are you talking to her? Some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASIT buttons to make a selection and the left mouse to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about. Huh. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Ah, you have going ahead and use it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yo, by the way. Uh, what is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Well, what did you want to ask me? Did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually, I was. <sighs> I knew it! I was there too! I was a class photo. You remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kind of ultimate surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. I probably read that wrong. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, you good? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised that's all. Um, mm. I wouldn't have thought you remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three fucking years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, wasn't it? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. 
I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Uh. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. Somehow mysterious smile of her made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Uh. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. N no, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And a thank you for being, um, 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 uh. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. Going to help you out as much as I can. So let's get the fuck out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. My dick getting hard. Which is nice, but still. When else is still late? Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Uh, so what time is it right now? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the door the dining room. Uh. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Mm -hmm. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Oh. Um. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think, you big head bitch? Big bowling ball head bitch? Big sharp roly poly head bitch? Everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes... Everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay. Mondo think like he's so cool. Here. Bitch, when I get Time the chance, I'm putting Nick through your fucking dome. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. For sure that. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Someone's missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Of course, of course, Kirigiri. Where the fuck is she at? Hold on a sec. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver hair girl. <gasps> oh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here, dumbass bitch. <laughs> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... <laughs> Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, doesn't matter how you do it. You must kill someone if you want to leave. And that's just how it is. <laughs> you know what? Kirigiri ain't going out like that. Ain't nobody named after a fucking Zoro move going out like that. Kirigiri, come up out that darkness, bitch. I know you in there. Is it possible? Was she really? No. Uh uh, I'm just overthinking shit. Damn, Kyoko, you really gonna be late to the first fucking day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. Almost unbecoming. Oh, sorry. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real fucking jackass. You know that, right? <sighs> what the fuck you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of Hope Speak Academy briefing meets had begun. Um. I fucked up. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. All right, well, let's do that. <laughs> you know, uh, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? I don't agree. You haven't done anything except be in my fucking face. Is that your tongue? or Like, are you sticking your tongue out or is your mouth just open? Where's your teeth? You ain't did shit but just be in my face, girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I'd be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Uh. Yeah. Is it time already, y'all? Is it time already? I don't give a damn. It might be. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Y'all like my ad libs? Fuck no. No, you don't. I'm about to get into the meat of it, though. Uh. 
She trying to be my assistant I really knew what I was missing When I went in school with girls that looked like her Damn shorty glistening Uh She Uh it's not time. It's not time. It can't be time and I'm ramming like that. It cannot be time and I'm ramming like that. Get the fuck off my dick with that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I just sold like that in front of thousands of people. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all of this, let me lay out what's actually been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see? Yakia and Taka went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. I don't give a fuck about either one of them. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Shihiro all grouped up together. Well, same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifuma were left over, so they joined up. I don't give a fuck about any of them. Am I supposed to do that? Whatever, bro. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. I didn't plan on leaving. I was trying to talk to this bitch. Okay, so really I'm only supposed to talk to say I can get as much information as I can. Okay, fine, 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 fine. You see. Oh, oh, I thought she was gonna tell me. I didn't know it was gonna be him. My fault. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. I'm a fucking prissy failure bitch. Hmm. If I discovered, um, anything naturally, I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Get the fuck back. Right, understood. Don't ever let a nigga talk to you like that. Um, Taka, don't ever let a nigga talk to you like that. You Put see. some fucking pressure on his ass. I spent some time looking around the dormitory. <laughs> Listen to me. There, I made a discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have already been assigned already. Huh. And each room's key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name's precision etched onto it. Um, I read that wrong, but who gives a fuck at this point? Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bath uh, bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? Well, when I checked my bathroom though before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have than not have. I mean, uh, you know what? At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Hmm. Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever is next. All right, bro. Um. Um. You see. Give a damn. Give a damn. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was hmm. nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This fucking sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. It sucks, sucks, sucks. What the fuck are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Ah, damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous, bitch. Especially with them crazy ass facial expressions you be making. Um, but Leon, you're not one to talk about crazy facial expressions. I've seen you. See. You you consistently stick your tongue out. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Hmm. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside. So we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and me what? both, it wouldn't budge. Why the fuck is you yelling at me, pussy boy? We hit it with desks and chairs. It was fucking nothing, dude. dude. It didn't happen. Shit. It was hard as like, see, you fucking slow. Yes, Get off my screen. Indeed. Well, yes, it is fucking metal, dumbass. This sucks. Anyway, uh, fuck, like. If we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, 
I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it is still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. What? But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. If I am being honest, I can't say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with the you? The fuck were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I, I, bl I blame you for leaving me out. It's, it's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. Are you about to punch me? Get back. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Huh? Slut? Your, your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. What does thin even mean? What does thin even mean in this context? And, and what does thin even mean in this context? Are you like saying she's skinny? You skinny too. I don't get it. What are you saying right here? Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everyone just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now that you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. Well, then talk to me. Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall. Found a fridge in the back end of the... Uh, sorry. Found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds That's of stuff. Good. Guess we don't have to worry about food at least. Uh, sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can't just eat sesame seeds or something? I mean, what? Am I a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we gotta worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, how do you know that already? At least that's all, okay. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that and then disappeared again. He's so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving around him. I can't believe someone could have been moving around a guy with a controller, bro. What? A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, but was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? <laughs> Eater. She's an eater. I need someone to. What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm fucking it up, but it's kind of funny to me. The fuck, dude? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk bitch. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Fuck, stop screwing around. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We can just die any second. <sighs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupted mine though. And this my thing, this my thing, this my thing, this my thing. If we can die at any moment, what's to say we don't die right now? Calm the fuck down. Let niggas calm their brain down. Just cause you calm don't mean I'm calm. Let me do it on my level. You do it on your level. Get the fuck over there, you dumb bitch. I work on my own time. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Inma. Hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yeah. Kyoko, where the fuck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of the Hope Speak Academy. A map? What the... Where did you find this? Wow. Does it matter where I found it? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. Just fucking look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in the precise same way as Hope Speak Academy. I keep fucking these lines up, but I'm gonna chalk it up to my room being 85,000 degrees. Ah, damn, it's so hot in this bitch, bro. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. 
Well, in terms of construction, yeah. It looks like he's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elites are supposed to come and learn? And this is my thing. This is how y'all should have knew it was some bullshit. This is how y'all should have knew this was some bullshit. In what world does a fucking gang leader... In what world does a gang leader... One more time. In what world does a gang leader get guaranteed stability for the rest of their life from a government-funded facility? In what world does that happen? And it wasn't like he was on some informant shit. It wasn't like, yeah, we gonna take control of this gang. No, 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 no. Niggas was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna celebrate the fact that you kill niggas. That him being there alone would have let me know, uh, uh, I'm not going to that school. The fact that they, why would you have a gang leader? Like, like, okay, clairvoyant is like that's questionable enough. You know what I'm saying? The fuck. But gang leader. Oh, no, you lost me right there. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students at? <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look too good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all playing out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Pause? I don't know. Uh, good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to the, do the investigation was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Look around. This shit was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been in prison in some secret location. With no way out. So if you insist on panicking, I'll allow you to do so. But you're first on my list. <laughs> None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that fucking reality, but it was staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say it! I was trying to act like it wasn't fucking real! No way out! We're, we're trapped here! What, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that! Um, Everyone, just calm down, please! We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Murder Seems everybody. Like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. Uh, <laughs> should I reread that? All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? I was just about to make a sick and cruel bastardized joke. like. I don't got no home training if I say it. But you know what? Since I brung it up, I'm gonna say it. And I'm. this is not supposed to make you laugh. This is not supposed to make you laugh. Do not laugh at this. This is not funny. This is a genuine question. Would a, would a school shooter just immediately win? You've murdered everybody. Who's here to stop you? Somebody said, how the fuck will he get the gun in? How the fuck did he get the gun in? I feel, I feel like, I feel like, honestly, that might be my approach in this situation. <laughs> I might, I might get rid of all you niggas, honestly. I don't know. Somebody said that's sick. It is. That's why I try not to understand? say it. A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or who is the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? What the fuck you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What you mean? 
Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us to not go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but why? Are you okay? The with way this? things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried or anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who... Uh, 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 if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night is a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all just have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but... I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lita, Lolita said. <laughs> Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply! What? Hey, you can't just decide for the rest of us, bitch nigga. This is fine. So is everyone in agreement? Good. <laughs> then, if you'll excuse me. Huh? huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I wanna take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so, well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, the left, the left, the left, the left. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then. Let's say we call an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't got a choice. We can't go long without getting some sleep. <sighs> this sucks. <sighs> so we just have to give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. This is the fucked up thing about doing a voice crack voice. Once you... Oh, this is the thing. Voice crack is like a black flash. You land one of them, consistent landings from that point forward. You land one voice crack, them bitches are consistent for the next 10 sentences out your mouth, bro. I did one voice crack and now all of them just boom, 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 boom. It don't make no damn sense. Only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. And we're done for today? Good, because I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Makoto, you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Mm, is this really why I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls should have a lock on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Whoa! <laughs> Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! <laughs> Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Wah -wah? Like some kind of robot bear ghost. Wh what are you doing here? What? Makoto Naigi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack. Uh-huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? This door just doesn't fit? Hey! Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! What are you talking about? Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and then lift the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Ah! You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Farewell. Hey, wait. Damn it. And that bitch got a theme song. I'm gonna do Makoto here that shit. ba 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 woo. Y'all think Makoto hear that shit whenever that bear pull up? I wonder. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. No more water. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. 
An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The fuck off my screen. It's like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I could do is try to get some sleep. While well, still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into my bed. My eyes closed almost instantly. It's not that I wasn't ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. Sorry. It was as if I had spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. I'm like some kind of illusion where I've been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that I, when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind of teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Host Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. That bitch be locking in on random sentences, bitch. I was just getting my voice acting in. I was just snapping. Mm. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I fucking hate bees. Get off my dick. Apparently it's morning, but... Thanks to the total lack of windows, there's nobody to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka. <sighs> and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room and headbutted that big head bitch again. Oh no, there goes Kiyotaka. I'm not talking to him. Where's my assistant at? Leon... Yasuhiro, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all niggas. Who is that? I'm on the wrong side of the world. Oh, I see her. I'm not talking to you, bitch. I'm letting you know that right now. Don't fucking look at me while I'm walking past. Can I swing off it? Oh, yeah, I could reach his chin. Yeah, yeah, you're getting, you're getting punched in your shit, boy. Play with me if you want to. Play with me if you want to. There's a doorbell right next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. Ain't that funny that you don't just automatically do it? Why are you trying to get into my room? Oh, uh... <laughs> um. Oh, my God. What favor? Um, so, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. When did you even get out? See, that's why I was still clicking on your door. When did you get out here? And I'm not gonna lie, you big as shit. I knew I wasn't tripping when I said you was tall. Y'all the same height, though. How is that possible? Why are y'all the same height? All right, whatever. Um, listen. What's the word? A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where you headed? Uh, um, oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Uh, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. <laughs> whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it. That display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. All right, Sayaka, get off my dick. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Uh, anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. 
plus you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off and depending on certain story moments there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all finally try not to teleport inside any walls there's a chance you could get lost forever <laughs> well then good luck and have fun <laughs> this just told me do not attempt to no clip i did not realize she was right next door what the fuck you want bitch good morning makoto good morning dude Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. It's such an energizing way to start the day. <laughs> now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Kirigiri! Oh, my God. Talk about my... Okay. How do I get to the... Uh, what you call... She said the gym, right? Jim, Jim. Oh, niggas is outside. I know why, because they died for sure. Toko together with those other two, quite a combination. What's your what do you problem? want? You, you look like you have something you want to say. I don't know, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with people, with two people who have mu muscles where their brain should be is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super fucking mean. Hmm. Yesterday you were complaining about how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come here with us. Mm -hmm. I, I never I asked you to do that. I'm trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. What does that even mean, you little horny last little girl? Hmm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Absolutely Wait. not. We should not pressure her any further. Well. Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if she they did get along. Hey, Na. Hey, Makoto. Well, look who it is. What's up, guys? What you up to? Yeah. Picking up where we left off yesterday. Really hoping we find something there. Mm -hmm. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Sakura, what down with you? We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um. That's why you went with Hina and Toko. However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, understandable. I don't get it. Why you got trouble? Man, it's so fucking hot. I got sweat dripping down my arms and it tickles. <laughs> there go Enma. Enma. Is this a sword? Ah, oh, damn, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's covered in gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched and got that gold shit all over my fucking hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. I'm Midas. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um. You should take it with you. Might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense, though. Hey, don't worry about it, all right? It's like you need it, right? Um. Mm. It's like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that that mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. Makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I could do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Nah, Sayaka, you should definitely get you. I, as a man who gives a fuck about my woman, I would never tell you to have no weapon on you. You never know what the fuck will happen. I'm not gonna always be there to protect you. Take that fucking statue and beat a nigga head in with it. Take it. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? All right, bro. She really don't want no weapon no more. That's fucked up. You really should get a weapon, though. I'm not gonna lie, Sayaka. Um, uh, you know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what I want to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come here. So, sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we could just not talk, right? Huh? huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We could just, I don't know, stare off into space or something. <sighs> stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring. It's just, I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. I don't know the high school student. I, you're not a normal high school student like me. You got a ton of shit to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but. Do you have a dream? 
A dream? Uh, I guess you could say I'm still shopping around for one. <laughs> really? Well, I hope you find your dream someday. Thanks. What's wrong, Sayaka? It's me about my dreams all of a sudden. <laughs> um, who's... <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I always wanted to be a star. As long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. So I about to die. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty. Like a princess. She could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that same kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. Fuck. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they have to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um, In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh, no! Oh, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. What? But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, uh, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together. Sorry, it's brought me so much happiness. But that's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing You it. see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. That makes sense. What you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends for, like, ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka? Why? Why? I can't afford to be stuck in here. It was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds so desperate. But I can, stand, I can understand why she feel that way. Trapped here, this way. The dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that ain't something that could be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. Kind of killed the mood, huh? Uh-uh. Not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Sayaka. Actually, you hungry? Before we head back, you want to go to the dining hall? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil? What does that even mean? You mean the condiment? <laughs> ha, just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced with the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask. Some kind of neutral expression. Well, I'm glad you know. That's kind of how YouTube is, honestly. <laughs> what she just described? Just a little bit. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before we turn into our rooms. And now I got Enma in my fucking room. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? I don't know what word I just said. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting there, so maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, because I don't really know what you want me to do during this. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. 
During your free time, you could spend time with your uh, fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also get them presents, which could potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the mano mano machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you finish, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story then... Anyway... Why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizona? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Why the fuck did you just drop the beat on me? <laughs> what the fuck? Tell my prank, Sayaka Kiyaka. Ding dong. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yeah, I mean, they told me to. Um, you gonna try to cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to come with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to get Sayaka a president? A president? I'm fucking. I'm just genuinely fucking up today. I don't got shit to give her. I don't got nothing. Shit. Um. Makoto, you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well. It's just, I guess that was kind of formal, but it's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. Being here with me is what saved me. Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. Your mysterious smile softens my heart. Really want flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But it's kind of strange, you know? Never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like the... Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every... The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... How the fuck I supposed to know? I'm gonna say it's a motherfucking... Um, I'm gonna say it's a motherfucking... Crane. It's a crane. It's walking right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big. The teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see? I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. Uh I'm that crane, you see? I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. What? Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you. Even just once. Uh, um... Never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. <laughs> but instead, it's this weird school. I... That shit inflating the back of my shit, and it's killing me. <laughs> Help! Maybe, but still. So you help me find my way out? Just like that crane, you'll save me. No, I won't. You might actually die during this episode. You see? It's just intuition. I know, but I still believe it. I'm gonna save her? I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Just like because I you said, said I'm psychic. Just because you said that is about to turn out wrong. <laughs> yeah, kidding, kidding. Mm, mm. Fuck The closer we get, the stronger that smile of her makes me I'm just glad to feel that way Sayako's report card has been updated based on your experience with her You just unlocked the skill 
Melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. What the fuck is that? Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. The fuck is Melodious voice? What is that? Can I fucking Google? I know, I know. I know. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Today's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear. It feels like this is as good as it gets. And my room for one cheddar. Oh, they tell you that I never get out of here. I swear. I Sorry. Hmm. As I close my eyes, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. Yeah, I wanna be rich. Uh, in a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here, there is no doubt. I just don't match up. Guess that might explain some of my own frustration. If you was in this school, what would you be the ultimate of, bro? Um, <laughs> so, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students are already so filled with despair. Still have some hopes of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? We will. Um, when will our hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement. That's what I'm saying. He just lock in while I'm locking in. Don't lock in while I'm locking in. Somebody said you could be the voice of Monokuma. Thanks for that, bro. I appreciate that compliment. Somebody said no one said that to you. Good morning, everyone. What's wrong with a nigga tooting his own horn? And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get rise ready and shine. to greet another beautiful day. I fucking hate bees. Get off my screen. Mm, I'm getting deja vu. Oh, what should I do today? Pick that fucking beat drop. Let me see what the fuck. Uh, let me see what the fuck. Uh, let me see what the fuck. Uh, uh, melodious, melodious voices. It doesn't tell me. It just says skills, but it don't tell me what it is. So you know who I'm about to go talk to? I'm stuck. Somebody said, bro, if you don't choose Sayaka, honestly, I'm stuck between. I'm stuck between um Kyoko. Let me see if Kyoko in here. This is Kyoko going. I don't really have nothing to talk to it. Really? You don't want to talk to Kyoko. You don't want to talk to fucking Enma. What about Sakura? Okay, I, I, I bet you I bet you don't say this for fucking um 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 Sayaka though. Oh he do say it. So what you wanna do then, nigga? What's the move? What's going on? Ooh. These niggas outside. I know why, because they died for sure. Oh Makoto, you wanted me? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Um, let me go see who else is in this bitch. I'll be right back, though. I think I'll be right back. There goes Sakura. There goes Leon. Not kicking it with you. Who in the dining hall? Ain't nobody in this bitch. They really are scared to come outside. I know why. Because they die for sure. I'm sorry, bro. It's like when a song gets stuck in my head, I cannot drop that bitch. Okay, there goes Hina. I was thinking about talking to her, but... I gotta see if Kyoko around this bitch first. There goes Chihiro. Let's see who up in this bitch. I wanted somebody in this bitch hooping. I am explicitly looking for Kyoko right now. Ain't nobody hooping, though. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody would have been in this bitch hooping, I might have talked to them instead. If I don't see Kyoko, I'm gonna probably talk to Hina. Somebody said, boy, why are you doing Sayaka like that? Sayaka got a fucking death marker on her head. Somebody said, if you know that, so why wouldn't you make her best moment? Why wouldn't you make her last moments her best moments? All right, bro, you are right. These niggas is freaky. What y'all up here doing? And, and then they match, honestly. They match. What do they say? Wait, what do, you, what do they say when you talk to them? Oh, I'm good. How about you? 
Should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Let me see who else around. That's honestly, that was, she was cool. Shh. Don't address me as if we're friends. Did I not make myself clear? I don't like you. <laughs> I don't wanna... <laughs> I ain't talking to that bitch ass nigga. He got a crush on me. Damn, I can't find Kyoko nowhere. What is all of this? What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. You'd like to try your hand and... Yeah, give it a shot. Well, learn more about it first. I don't want to just twist shit and lose my hand. During your stay here at Hope Academy, you'll find coins scattered throughout the school. These mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have. And if you put the coins in this machine, there's a chance you can win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Uh, sure. I don't really know what else I could use that for. All right, let's give it a shot. Got an item. What was that? That looked like a bow. Voice voice changing bow tie. This originally belongs to a detective who has the body of the body of a child, but the mind of a genius. The bow tie lets its user speaks in a variety of voices. That sounds like some Celeste shit. That honestly sounds like some Celeste shit. What y'all think? Get off my screen. Get me up out of here. Can I leave now? How do I leave? Oh, R. I forgot. Should probably get going. I wonder if that's some Celeste shit, though. Oh! I just got another coin. Just from clicking some shit. I just got a coin. I'm about to use that bitch again. Yeah, why not? It's so fucking hot. Oh shit, what is that? What is that? Demon angel princess figure. A collectible figure of Princess Piggles. Oh, that's um that's probably a um a Hifumi thing. And not for that reason, bro. Chill out. You you bogus as hell for even thinking that. You are a fucked up person for even thinking that that's what I was talking about. Alright, give me about him. You know what? Since Celeste was so nice to me, I got a present for her. No, this is the gym. She's not in here. She's out in the main hall. I walked right past it. Celeste! I got something for you. Damn, a nigga can't just talk to niggas. Y'all ass so worried about Sayaka. Why I can't just talk to niggas, bro? Damn. How are you? Yeah, hang out with her. See if she see if she cool. Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? I don't fucking gamble. I would be happy to empty your wallet and show you how. I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. Oh my god. So let's gave me the business. So let's not grow a little closer today. You like to give Celeste a present? Yeah, give her that fucking thing. No, not that. This one. Yeah, this fits her, I think. Oh. Ah, ah, it just so happens that the one thing I was hoping for has appeared before me. <laughs> Must be a gift from the heavens. I will receive it happily. Does that mean she liked it? Makoto, <laughs> I would like to share something with you. What's up? My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind of strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can be over... Um... I gotta put some respect on Celeste's name, so I'm gonna redo that sentence. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Indeed. That power is luck. It just happens to be my ultimate. Actually. There are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well. Do you see what I am saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct! You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. That's why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, lucky? You are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. Did you I just threaten to murder well. me? Well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a good idea for me. Celeste's report card has been updated based on your experience with it. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. I wonder. 
After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. Now, now if I can kick it with Sayaka, then I will. But still, that's the time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take time to look around. Okay, I'm finna go kick it with Sayaka then. I'll go kick it with Sayaka. She right here. What's up, baby? Out for a walk. Wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Yeah, kick it with her. Ain't nothing. Hey, right, let's go for a walk. I think it'll help her cheer up the both of us. For sure that. I enjoyed our, uh, I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. We grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a president? A I keep saying president. <laughs> I don't got no present for her. Hey, my I ask you just one question? So polite again. What is going on? And so polite again, I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? What? That's like way out of nowhere. Like, are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. Um, listen. Then do you at least have a crush on someone? Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking me all of these questions? I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not that it's bad. I... But it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're... <laughs> because we're classmates. Going through the same thing together. Classmates. What? Although, that's not all there is to it. You know, I'm more than just classmates. More than that? <laughs> We're friends. We've been friends since middle school in a way. We've never been friends. You don't get the friend zone me, bitch. That's true. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh-uh, let her know. Sayaka. I'm feeling a little something more than friends. You know what I'm saying? That smile you give me, that's just so warm. I ain't never think that I come out. But here I am. Jolly Rancher in a boiling pot. It's sweet, but it's sticky. What? Oh, no. Nah. I'm about to ban myself. Uh, um, I'm about to ban myself. Um, listen. <laughs> so, aren't you going to ask me? What? No, not what. Aren't you going to ask me if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, no. No, I definitely don't. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Then, do you have a crush on someone? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. See, I could stare straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tinged with red. Wait, me? What? But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Hey, let's get out of here uh, together, Makoto. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Of course, I would never turn my back on you. <laughs> I want you to know something, Makoto. And I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with ejaculate. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Sometimes, sometimes words pop into my brain and I can't stop it. But I'm like, y'all be wondering why I yap so much? My brain never stops a mile a minute. I promise you, every motherfucking moment of my life, it has never ceased. It has never stopped its movement. So some of them words, I'll be trying to hold them back, and then here go one of them bitches slipping through the crack. I promise you. And then why did that rhyme though? See, that was the words trying to come out and let them that was the words trying to come out and let me know that I can't stop them. <laughs> that was the words trying to come out and let me know that I can't stop them. My friendship with her. It's my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here for myself and Sayaka. <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You hurt me? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> okay. Um. Is that really what you were thinking? Yeah. Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here no matter what it takes. I'm going to do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> Go do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Sayaka's report card has been updated. Maximum skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Sayaka, you want to kick it in my room for a little while? What are we going to do in there? I don't know. Just chill. Somebody said you have no game. When, okay, this is the thing. I'm going to tell y'all this one thing. I'm going to tell y'all this one thing that I learned about life. You are very right. I have no game. Absolutely zero. But I'll tell you this, that's why I only fuck with girls that like me. I'm not finna try to make a girl like me, bro. I don't get time to be trying to game her. I don't get time to be trying to make her fuck with me, bro. I, I only fuck with the ones that's already feeling me. 
So I don't need to have no damn game. Just come here. And then here she come. You feel what I'm saying? That's all. That's all. I'm not trying to do no extra shit. And she shouldn't be trying to game me. For her, it should be come here and then here I come. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not trying to do all that extra shit. I don't give a fuck if I don't have no game. So they keep talking about skill points. I don't know what you, like, can I upgrade my health or something? Like, I'm about to be peacing, niggas. What's the, 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 what's, what's, what's really the word, though? Hey, hey, I put <laughs> niggas shit. <laughs> Hey, no it music. Why am I freestyling? The to the dining hall will be okay then. Third day is already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we gonna get out of here? <coughs> Excuse me. You felt the vibrations of that one, didn't you? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I had unzipped my pants and I fallen into an uneasy sleep. I stopped myself. I stopped myself. It was gonna go further, but I stopped it. I need an immediate fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in a regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. There's some girls in my comment that beg to differ. There's some girls in my comments that don't agree. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or a breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is better than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, uh. Why are you worried about the curvature of like like that's that I I tried to tell him I tried to tell him for you. You don't you don't you don't have to go into any more detail. I already told him. Keep it up here. Keep it up here. It don't need to come out your mouth. You said it says me. You're right. You so right. Okay, then tell him tell him about what you prefer. Then I don't give a fuck. Tell him then, nasty little girl. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Rise Get and ready shine. to greet another beautiful day. I ain't never been stung, but I still hate them. But the reason why I ain't never been stung is because I hate them. And what happens when you hate some shit, you run from it. Mm -hmm. Real hatred is something that you're willing to avoid at all costs. That other shit when niggas go out their way to go do something to it, I don't even know what that's called. Welcome to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pull myself out of bed. <laughs> Gah. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I could feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forces went in my room. It's a different beat. It might be time. Uh. Woke up this morning. Woke up real horny. I see my pen still unzip. I guess I ain't finished my grip. I had it in my hand. I had it in my hand. I had it in my hand. But I ain't Wackler Man. Uh. But I ain't Wackler Man. Yeah. But that's okay. Cause I'm trying to keep this NJ up in my body. I ain't trying to put this shit all over my flow. I ain't trying to put this shit all over a hoe. Cause I need that for me. I need that to succeed. I need that to be the G O A T. When I walk out this room, I bet you it be my motherfucking baby. Uh, Sayaka, how you feeling? Somebody about to pop ya. I'm confident I don't want it to happen though But I'm already knowing how this shit go Yeah Real sensitive to the game and the plot I see how it rock You making this shit too sensitive, too close It's cause you trying to make my heart turn cold Uh Taking away the only thing that warms it That's like a snowstorm in it Uh, uh I almost had it, I almost snapped it's not her. It is not her. I sold the rap. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka bars into my room. Get the fuck back. 
What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um... I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt! And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm! I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have a breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know about the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say anything, but I'm low-key happy because he came in my room smelling like snail funk. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. When I said my baby, I'm speaking as if I'm Makoto. I'm not fucking with these teenagers. I'm, a, I'm grown, bro. Somebody said, what's grown? How old am I, y'all? I'm 22, bro. I am 22. Can I be fucking with no... You know what I'm saying? Can't do that. Report card. I want to see. Because they said... Oh, Sayaka got a star by her shit. What that mean? Mm. Okay. I don't play no games. Um, oh, girl. 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 Are you good? Toko. Toko. What's your problem? You was fucking glitching out. I was just wondering what you was doing here. You probably should... Head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. That'd be me sometime. Prepare So What does she talk about? She probably got social anxiety. <laughs> okay, that laugh made me glitch a little bit. I'm back, though. I'm back. What's she so nervous about? That laugh had made me glitch, y'all. <laughs> like, why'd you do that? Who the fuck just threw that table like that, Hulk? Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Where the fuck is Kyoko? Where is she at? Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Break. I make time for this shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. Mondo is trying, Mondo is trying way too hard to let me know that I'm a bitch. Why did you have to sit next to me after you punched me, dude? I'm not trying to kick it with you. Honestly, I'm waiting to get my get back. Get the fuck from around me. Somebody said that's gonna be your main friend. You should talk to him. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? That creepy ass laugh is doing something to me. Not not down there. It's like glitching out my it's like glitching out my brainstem. Y you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with some clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? I mean, did you find anything, you crazy face bitch? No, you didn't. Hey. Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. No one has anything. Are you okay with this? Like, is that what you want to hear? Exactly. Get the fuck back. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? <laughs> if you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! The fuck? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds what? like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit. No way I'm living here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel free. But remember your hand almost not not only your hand, but remember let me let me let me activate her first. But remember, had it not been for Kyoko, you would have been mush. You would have been nothing but the soot on the bottom of my shoe, had she not warned you about the imminent explosion. So yeah, you try that. I did it didn't hit right. I tried it though. Okay, so no one has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all of this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. I probably read that wrong. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Chihiro, you good? Huh. 
What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Who is the certain murderous fiend? There go Kyoko! Hmm? A murderous fiend, huh? I think it'd be very used to get more details about that. All right, so you so you know about my ability. Why do you know about my Why do you know about my ability? Why do you know about my ability? Murderous fiend? Chiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now! I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard about Genocide Jack? I mean, a serial killer that's been in the news all over the internet? Y'all, it's so fucking hot. Right? I'm... I'm no, no weird shit, y'all. No weird shit. No real shit. No weird shit. I'm rocking the Ezekiel Elliott right now, bro. <laughs> I am rocking the Ezekiel Elliott right now. It's so fucking hot in this room. I got my shirt rolled up. I feel like a damn cheerleader right now. It's so hot in here, bro. Oh my god. The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. Are you him? You sound like you congratulating him. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him... Hmm. Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. I know a couple niggas that got 10 bodies. I don't know a single nigga that got 10 bodies. Do not listen to me. Hmm. Anyway... Whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put something together like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer? Uh, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon. I'm sure of it. Help? Cause, I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? <laughs> Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> uh, uh. What's this? The police? You're putting the... <laughs> this, thing, this nigga is like... This nigga... <laughs> this nigga is like, look at your skin. You're putting, the, you're putting your life in the hands of people who collectively... Don't... Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Monokuma, you are a funny man. <laughs> what are you doing here? You guys. You guys. Seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? Do y'all know in the U.S. what the police were originally meant to be? They were slave capturers. Black people and the police are fated. Bo police and black people are fated to not coexist. Somebody said, get off your fucking high horse. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Mm. All they're good for is being a foil. Playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Little bear bitch. <laughs> what the hell? The fuck are you laughing for? You know? Just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Fucking Freak Bitch, what the fuck do you want? Huh? Hmm, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Hmm. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't fucking ignore me. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. Mm. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. 
Uh, there's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Got it. Wait, I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people? Right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized that there was one very important piece missing! What are you... Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you. It is motive! <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? The fuck are you talking about? Hey, um. Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the fucking subject. Hmm. I have a little video I like you all to see. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... That's all. Despair. That's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourselves. Mm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery you hidden behind the man. I won't try to stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find anything useful Is that out. Right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. Uh, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Alright, so... Mondo Star glanced around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto! Hey, little bitch! Check this shit out for you, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Cause you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey! Piece of hey! Shit. Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm fucking begging you? What's the big deal? Just go check it out before I five knuckle shuffle your shit. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah! Awesome. Thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um. If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the ball for you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um, Can't decide if Mondo's totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? Must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but if it's a place to set up to watch DVDs, then... Um... I walked past that room earlier, so I know it's down here. Mondo think he can bitch me, and I guess he can, because my character is not no stand-up nigga. I don't give a fuck if I'm frail and he's big as hell. I'm still putting niggas down, and at the very least, I'm a die trying. Somebody said that's a foolish way to go out. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, there's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. And each one of them has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after. I just stood right there where I was. The DVD in front of me had robbed me of all my awareness. I was rooted in this place. I think I see something. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs, no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. Sorted through the DVDs and found one with my name on it. And it slid into the expensive-looking player. Sat down and stared intently into the darkest screen and... I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw in that monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. Nicole's mom. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind the tent, Hill's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. 
this was in normal school, I would have been happy. A little embarrassed. Maybe. But with my family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, now it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but turned out I was absolutely right. Are they about to be slaughtered? Ooh, we. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It's like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy. And his family who supported such a lucky boy. This motherfucker AI generated a motive for me to start killing niggas. All right, bro. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Monokuma, turn the fucking music down. Mm -hmm. My god! Shit! That, that, that might be okay. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. That don't make no damn sense. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Alright, this nigga- and then he did it in a- and then he, and then he did it in PowerPoint font. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn! Slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Mak Makoto? Um, what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like is that what Monica was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed a DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? Huh? Hey, hold on. Hmm. I don't even have to read they I don't have to read what they saying. They reacted genuinely. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I seen. Nobody either bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now she's totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace. And each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith, but there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us! Don't put those fucking thoughts in our head! That's exactly what they want us to do! Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? What is this? What? Hey! This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants! They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then... Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what everyone else's videos was like. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey Sayaka, mm. what was in your video Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? gently placed my hand on her shoulder stop it she pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off oh boy this is when it happens doesn't it mm, this is when it happens doesn't it let me just prepare let me just prepare y'all know when motherfuckers get to isolating themselves. uh-huh sayaka that's enough let her go I, I can't do that i have to go make sure she's okay <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally fucking thoughtless. You don't have a brain. You're a dumb bitch. You're an idiot. All you good for is writing a book. Um... I'm really worried myself, so... 
then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are Speaking well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Well, then let's go handle our business. I'll respect your wishes, sir. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far. I gotta check around the school. Probably ran in her room. Probably ran right into her room. Oh, no. Get this nigga off my screen. I don't got no interest in speaking to him. Nope, that's a gym. Nope, nope, nope. Asahina! Um, that's how y'all can run up to. Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. I mean, But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real... Uh... All my niggas traumatized, my niggas, uh, all my niggas traumatized, they feeling like they finna die, this shit is not cool, my niggas trying to lie, uh, they trying to lie down, but niggas can't calm down, niggas trying to get around the motherfucking rules, but Monokuma made it clear, nigga, if you don't kill somebody, you staying here. How the fuck I get to where I'm trying to? I can't find a motherfucking route. Let me pull the map up so I don't have to. Keep guessing. Nigga, I'm the best at rapping. I do this shit. It's a passion. Lying. Laughing. Nigga, I'm trapped. How the fuck do I get to where I'm trying to go? Is it this way? They call it Despair Hotel? Let me go talk to Celeste. Shorty, go down with you. What's in your video, Celeste? Huh? Oh, it is you. <laughs> you really want to know, don't you? That smile, it's strangely scary. Is that okay? There are many, many things in this world you are better off not knowing. Don't you think? No, I don't. I want to see huh? right now. <laughs> I want to see. Is that okay? Well, not that I want to see, but I want to I wanna know. Talk, talk, talk. You're not frightening me. The only one that scares me a little bit is Junko. The only one that scares me a little bit is Junko. Let me see Sayaka's in the room. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Sayaka! No, it's, I guess I have to keep looking. What is she in my room? How the fuck would she have gotten in my room? That would be a problem, honestly. Sayaka's not the type to go in someone's room without permission. I should go look somewhere else. Okay, okay. Why are you looking at me, bitch? Didn't you just send me off? Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked, for sure. And that's definitely locked. Punch a nigga in the shit. Yeah. Nigga, I don't play about my... Is there anything I need to do in a girl's bathroom? No, definitely not. So you don't think she in there? That's where you draw the line? Fuck this bitch one. What was in your video, Mondo? What? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it don't matter. It's not a big deal. Yeah. It was shit. fake anyway. It had to be. Whoever's doing all this just pull up that shit out his Stop ass. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Those fucking assholes can't fool me. Well... Mondo? You a hoe? I don't fuck with you. Got the option, I'ma kill you. I'm real deadly with this fucking blick. That's why niggas don't give me that shit. Cause I'm unpredictable. Uh, unpredictable. Unpredictable. Fuck is this room? Oh. Uh. Knife. Knife. There's some kitchen knives hanging on the wall. <sighs> Y'all, it's so fucking hot. It makes no goddamn sense. Where the fuck is this damn girl at? Have I checked everywhere? Laundry. Magazines laying around. Probably kill time while you're waiting for your laundry. Oh, man. Lunch machine. Not surprising. This is the laundry room after all. Where the fuck is Sayaka? 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 I'm really trying to find her. Really trying to find her. Where the fuck is Sayaka? What is this, a cupcake room or a trash room? I ain't never seen a garbage... I ain't never seen a garbage can with feet and gym shoes. And then I ain't never seen it with feet and gym shoes and then it run back. I ain't never seen none of that. Why as a trash can are you waddling? I just got another coin. Who I'm about to bribe with this bitch, y'all? Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. I don't play no games. I don't play no games. If you're thinking I'm goofy, I'll show you. Nice. You want to know, you want to know, so maybe you down here somewhere. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty? Secret beauty? 
Okay, is, is that Junko? She trying to be funny? Get it? Cause fashionista? I don't know. It's fucking hot. Okay. As soon as they stopped the music, I knew. As a desk, I woke up on the day I got here, but it don't matter now. Found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She's like, maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you can call an emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be uh, fine? Uh, what did we do to end up like this? Why are we fucking dealing with this? Uh, I want out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I, I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think about what happened to my family... What? When I think about what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened... People out there in the world will be causing an uproar. Our families, the police, everybody. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. You know, I try to convince myself just as much as her. <clears throat> I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burnt into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we could find some way out of him. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what would come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and Why? shaky. Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. I mean, as long as you don't aim that shit Sayaka. at me. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can can I really believe what you just said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? A absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? Uh, of course I'll be there for you. You tripping. No matter what, I'm right here with you, bro. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this. As long as you're with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. That smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. Felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. <laughs> It's standing up! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up. Are you getting turned on, a bear? Hello? What's standing up? Come on! Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole. Get the fuck out of here. Just a minute. No, no, I want to join in. Whoa! Pause! Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the fuck is up with those videos. It's about to come out. Monokuma, what are you doing to yourself, bro? Huh? It's gonna come out. My pristine, pure white yeah! stuffing. My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled my fist up, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go of everything I had. Gah! You okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took for you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Wow. 
Why'd you go? Why'd you go down though? Why'd you go down? You measuring it? Back up. Um, the fuck was that just now? I guess I got hard. Hey, you just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, you just want to head back? Yeah. That bitch said it's standing up. Monokuma had come, cause he don't want, so, okay, so Monokuma is a cock block. It would be different. Okay, it would be, all right. So nigga, you, you more, you, okay. So, okay. Somebody said, if you had surveillance cameras specifically made for murdering, what would porn be doing for you mentally? Obviously, you're too far into the deep end. Honestly, I can't agree with that. You saw how he was reacting to my poke. Why are you measuring my shit? Back up. Mm-mm. Nigga talking about my white stuffing about to come out? Okay, bro. All right. You got it. Somebody said, and you read that shit with passion. <laughs> we headed back to our doings, bro. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaky. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, bow, she disappeared. That's them booty cheeks. Bow, 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 bow. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It's hard to think about um anything after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? It's just so many problems. Can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What's the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. I can tell you for a fact who doesn't feel the same. Byakuya, Mondo, Celeste, Chihiro is a wild card. Hifumi is a wild card. Who else is here? And and Ballsack, uh, twin them. He, I feel like twin them is a murderer because he keep trying to play this shit off like it's not happening. But I feel like once he finally snapped, it's that. Huh? When I open my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost ten o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. All of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. <sighs> I'm finna do it. I got you all. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. The door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared. I couldn't even move. So, so what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, but then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but it still makes me nervous. Something like that happened in the middle of the night. What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, you can't go outside during nighttime. But, but that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is... You know, girl, you more worried about the implications of us sharing a room than you are your fucking safety. Even if I might want some action, that does not overlap your safety. You know what I'm saying? Be real. Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it like that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um, no, I know me either. Yes, it did. You just brought it up. It's not even that I mind idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe just switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? I mean, if it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me, but 
I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? It doesn't, like, concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then, go ahead in that bathroom. This is how you do it. Twist the knob, lift it, push. Close it. Ain't nobody getting in that motherfucker. So go in there and sleep. Oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I head to your room right now. Oh, if we gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. Yeah, that's right. We have to trade keys. No, not again. That's just common like sense. I said, I'm psychic. Whatever. Huh? Ain't you gonna say you were kidding? <laughs> but if I wasn't just kidding, something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness. Like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. So you willing to send me into the trenches, but okay. Instead of us being together in case a motherfucker bust in this room and us fighting them off together, you want to send me into the trenches, for sure. There's another word expression there. Uh, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, do not open your door for anybody. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should be open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Alright, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I get the fucking gag. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Saki gave me one last part and smile and I headed off to my room. Not no hug, not no handshake, just a smile. And you in my motherfucking room, you finna be in my bed. You about to see my nut stains. I looked around as soon as I got out and said, oh, everyone else's door closed. As soon as I'm signing lamp. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. I was sure about to just act up and ding dong ditch somebody. <sighs> so this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. Uh. Yeah. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka's has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. Okay. Man, this stuff look exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Pause? No, no pause. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. It's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. I don't think Sayako would like me snooping around too much. She'll probably go to bed soon. Um, as I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe to bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little bit better than before I fell asleep. It's a long episode. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an inter intergalactic adventure. You've all heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Yeah! Bitch! I ain't never body slammed a teddy bear before, but you would be the first. Hmm. I don't get deja vu this morning. 
I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone. I better get going. Why didn't you go to your room to see what she was on? <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. What up, Jiro? Hey, Makoto. What's up, Hina? Damn. I suppose I'm early. Sakura, what up, gang? Damn. The gang's all here. I figured everyone who arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late? Yo. What up? Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh duty took a little longer than usual. Uh, the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. I'm more Indeed. than... I suppose I'm late. I'm more... I'm, I, it depends on my mood. I'm the middle to late, late crew. That's me. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind of move at their own pace. Yep, me. Mm-hmm. I only care sometimes. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it's supposed to go, but Sayaka's still ain't walking this bitch. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh. Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey, man, you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listen to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside me. And that speck started to grow quickly. Okay, so did the music. I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I had first was my room, where I left Sayaka for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night... Oh! Oh, the room had been completely transformed. Oh! 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 Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. That shit hurt the body. Oh, I know, I know, I called it, bro. But that shit hurt the. Nah, okay, it's different when you calling it, but it's 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 so different when it actually happens. That shit hurt. When I saw the room like that, that shit hurt. That shit hurt the body. Oh, no. What I saw dug his way through my eyes and buried itself into my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Oh. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remember seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I seen before. Oh my God. Ah. Oh my God, you're awake. Finally, you okay? Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get the fuck up, boy. Uh, um. You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, it's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? <laughs> Oh! Um... Hey, you, you okay? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw... It was real. <laughs> That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka... Is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body. 
and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka's... If Sayaka's... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What, what do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, why the fuck is we all hanging out in the gym anyway? My friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma told us we should all come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Ayaka had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. You don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we just listen to anything he has to say? It's obviously he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But, but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us? Killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Hmm, what's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to... <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yeah! One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They had the same look on their face. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What, so what is this? Someone, someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz... Naive! You're just so naive! You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey, You're super naive! Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, no, no. The real thing has just begun! The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement that you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are found out. This is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been getting away with or gotten away with, sorry. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep. It'll begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. 
During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. Hmm. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Okay. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. Mm. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. That mean we all die? Don't that take away the fun for you, Which maybe? of course means your school life will come to an end. Okay. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Hmm. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply... What? It's execution. <laughs> execution! What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done! That's damn near racist what you're saying right now, Monokuma, but I'ma say it. What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So, it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system. Or an inquisition type of thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is! Hmm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay? Let me just add a rule. Uh... Let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hold on a second! What the hell are you talking You're freaking about? insane, you know that? Huh? What the? A class trial? What the fuck is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! <laughs> I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish! Stop it! You're the one who's being selfish! Kill whoever you want, it's got nothing to do with me! <sighs> the evil standing before me, I'm... Trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It is my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, ah! you'll have to go through me first. As he said that he can't charge in this at us. Uh, although it was more of a waddle. But then... What did he say? And this is a crazy angle. Are you enjoying yourself now? He might be now that you're doing that. Are you... Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! Is she about to die? I invoke the mighty summon spell! Whoa! Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier! Oh! 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 This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Oh! No way! Oh my god! Oh my! And 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 they just got her shit just laying there. What is that fucking move? Where is Nagato at? There's no way. I don't. This can't be real. No way! Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. <sighs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? 
I'm not nobody to fuck now with. Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. My gosh. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. The first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a moment ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... Uh, you know, it's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this is some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in a prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Yeah, Come on. What do you take me for? I'm on Akuma. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the black and... This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it's it the Monokuma file. Come on, bro. You need to let me know when you about to interrupt me. Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing. So you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the surveillance camera picked up the whole thing. I got to see it go down. So then. Wait. So then, you know, kill Sayaka. <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during a trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. It just has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a fucking word. But I got a word to say. I got a lot of words to say right now. And that is episode two, man. That is episode two of Dang and Ropa, man. Trigger Happy Havoc. This shit got hectic. I predicted Sayaka is still fucked with my heart. But I was not I didn't I didn't expect Junko to pop off like that. I mean as soon as she stepped on him, duh, but like I didn't think you know what I'm saying? You know what? I don't even get much to say. So I'm, I don't think I'm having a long intro this time. So. In place of that. Like button if you fuck with it, man. Like button if you fuck with it. Comment if you got any of the games you want to play. Y'all know I'm reading the comments. Y'all know I'm reading the comments. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas told on Shihiro. I don't know 100% what it is yet. But, yeah, y'all niggas said something about Shihiro. Um... So yeah, y'all niggas know I'm reading the comments. So definitely let me know if it's something y'all want me to play. Subscribe for more content like this, man. I'll catch y'all niggas in the next one. Peace.